Kelly, do you really think that Maddie can't work with the choreographer she met two weeks ago? I think there's no reason for you to have two of you in there and mine in here with someone who doesn't even know what leg they kick on. No, he's supposed to be choreographing. Well, then let him count choreograph Maddie's. That sure as hell would never happen. All right, well, let's keep going on. We'll get 10th place. Maddie obviously will get first, and so will their duet. Yeah. Kelly? Kelly, here. I don't feel like fighting with her. But I have no problem. We would be more than happy to do her number, but you have to wait. One of you two should be helping him. You can surely teach Maddie yourself. But no, Maddie's the priority, so both of the main teachers work here. But Maddie, you can go and win, honey. Obviously, nothing was going to change. Abby was still going to finish with Maddie, and I was still going to have the guest choreographer who was asking me what they could do. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a choreographer. I mean, I'm the dance mom. Jealousy. And it went right back to being jealous of the eight-year-old Maddie. Let's go. We're leaving. I'm done with it. I'm done. My kids, I don't care if they ever dance again. And Maddie can win again this week. And the world can think she's fabulous. Because my kids are going to enjoy themselves at the pool. She leaves with her kids in an uproar, screaming and yelling, leaving the studio. So now, we're done. It's over. I don't have any more time to rehearse with them. And her kids are about to compete at nationals. So instead of getting my attention that she claims she wants, she got nobody's attention.